not having a good book cover could be one of the reasons why you're not making sales on Amazon KDP. Yes. And today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can create a captivating and compelling book cover using Canva. This might not be a perfect example, but I'm going to also I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can use Canva to create something like this or even better if you're someone that is creative. Even though you're not someone that's creative, you can definitely use Canva with this method I'm going to be showing you in this video. So do well to stick to this video to the end of this video. Don't forget, my name is Mary Jo Rodega. I'm an online entrepreneur and I'm also a content creator. I share tips, strategies, opportunities that you can leverage on to make money for yourself online. So without further ado, we'll be jumping right into the video of today. So I'm going to be taking you to my screen where I'm going to be showing you how I created this particular book cover in less than five minutes. Yes, I'm going to be showing you that. So let's go right into my screen now. So this is my screen now, and I've actually clicked on Canva on Google. And after I click on Canva, I'm just going to click on free design tool. I'm actually using a laptop. You can also use your phone. You can download the Canva app on your phone. So when you come to Canva, you can see, um, I'm not really going to be going in depth into Canva and all these features, but I'm going to be explaining, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own book cover using Canva. So right now, as you as you as you must know, um, Amazon KDP have um, several um, book cover size, um, sizes. So depending on the book book you're creating, you have to create your book cover to actually match the size of your book. So you're going to come to this place and click on custom size. Custom size, we have um, six by nine, we have 8.5 by 11 inches. So I'm going to be doing the 8.5 by 11 inches today for if you have um, if you want to do any other dimension just come here and change it to inches then you can actually put whatever you want to put so i'm going to be using 8.5 by 11. so in this video i'm going to be showing you exactly how i was able to create that particular um book cover that you're seeing in front of my screen i'm going to be showing you exactly how i was able to do that so um canva is actually one of the easiest graphics design so that you can use. It doesn't matter if you're not a graphics designer or, or someone that is so creative. With Canva, you get a lot of designs, a lot of options that you could use to actually create your own book cover. So let me, so I'm going to be showing you exactly what I did to actually create that book cover. So I came here and I typed um, book cover. The thing is that when you come here, you have several options, like a lot of them, a lot of op options that you could use to actually create your own book cover. So just take a look at this option, look at this section and think about it and look at any one that you feel like, oh, this one will be interesting, this one will be good, and you actually use it to create your book cover. You can actually model after it to create your own book cover. So that being said, let's start with this video. This was the yellow I used. Um, let's see. Yeah, this was the yellow color I used. And all I just did was just remove this. Um, I removed this. Like, I'm trying to edit it to actually suit what I want. And here I wrote um, at break. Add break. Yeah, then I increase the size. Do you understand? So you can actually you can increase the size using this section where the cursor is. You can increase the size there. So I've increased the size. Like I feel like okay, this size is okay. You can also from here enlarge it. You get. Can you see that? So after I was done, I tried to put it like in the middle of the book. That is it. So this break part, I decided to put this part in red. So when I just highlighted that particular area that I want to be in red, I highlighted it. Let me show you again. You highlight it, click on this part, then you drag it back. So you come to this place where it says text color. And you click on, click on it. It will bring you to the options of the color. I want to use a red color. Um, I want to use a red color. This is not actually, oh, sorry. So I want to use a red color and I just click on red. So it's going to change to red. But this is not the type of red that I want to use. So what am I going to do? I'm going to come to a website. Um, I'm just going to go on Google and I'm going to type color palette red. And it's going to give me different types of, um, different shades of red that we have. Um, I'm just going to click on this. Then when you do that, I found the red I want to use. Um, let's go down and see. Okay, I would like this particular red. So what would I do? I'm just going to copy. I'm just going to copy this number, this particular number. Yeah, oh, sorry. I'm going to copy it. Once I copy this number, this is the red I want to. So it's already copied. I will just come here to where my colors are. I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste it. 
to get. So basically I paste it, it's going to be showing me that shade of red. That is exactly how you can get other colors if you're not finding them immediately on cover. So that's, that being said, I'm just going to come here and um, that didn't, that was not there. So, so can you see that the color has already changed? That color of red has already changed. So depending on, on the one you want to choose, you can actually pick any one. So I'm just going to be going with that. Let's just go with this. So I'm going to be going with this. And then this is ad break. So this part, I'm going to be writing the owner of the book, Camille King. This is actually a pen name. So just to increase the font. So I'm going to be writing something on that. And how do I do that? I'm going to come to this section where it says um, template, elements, upload text. So I basically click on text. And I'm going to be adding text to this part because I need text to be there. So I'll click on add a subtitle and I'll add my subtitle. How to get, okay. How to get over your life. So this is actually going to be a very interesting book. So this book is not actually existing. I just decided to um, create it based on this particular video. So right now I want to change this font and the size because it's not really looking too good. So I'm just going to come to, let me show you. You come to, um, after you click on, like you click on this, this text, you come to this area, you click on it, then it's going to bring out different types of fonts that we have here. So you're going to come, this is what I want to use. So I'm just going to use this. Um, yeah, can you see that? So I'm trying to position it to actually suit, to fit into the text a little bit more and also reduce the text so that everything, yeah, so that everything's going to come like two lines, just as you saw in the introduction video. So that's it, that's it. Um, let me increase this a little bit. Little bit. If you have any questions, please don't forget to like drop it in the comment section for me. I'm going to answer every questions. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel, like my video, turn on your post notification bell. You can share these videos with your friends that you feel like would find this video very helpful. So let's continue with what we're doing. So right now, we are we are actually basically done with this book. Do you understand? But like I said earlier. You need to create captivating books that would make people want to actually click on your book. That would help increase the number of sales you make on Amazon KDP. So right now I'm going to be showing you how I had it, the art. So from this video, I'm sure you must have seen that actually creating a book cover on Canva is not hard. It's not hard at all, especially the fact that you have several templates that you can actually work with to create the perfect book using other people's um, design, just like remodeling them to actually suit what you are trying to, um, the kind of book you're trying to sell. So right now I'm going to be coming here to show you the last um, thing I did. I'm going to be going to um, Pixel where you get to find free um, photos that you could use online that you won't have to face any copyright issues. So when I come here to, okay, okay, let's try, break up. So we're just going to, we're looking for the perfect image that actually fits into what we're trying to talk about to get. So when you find that, you know that, oh, this is the best. So this was what I actually picked. This was what I used. So I picked this one and um, I downloaded it. So I already have it downloaded on my um, my laptop. So I'm just going to um, download it again, just for you. When I download it, I open it up and I actually copy it. So. I copy it, but because of the way it's looking, I need to actually, I need to actually edit that um, picture. So I'm actually suit what I'm trying to do. So actually suit into the speech. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how I was able to edit it on my um, laptop. I use what we call Paint 3D on um, my laptop. If you don't have a laptop, just um, Google how you can remove um, background pictures from a photo. That's basically how you're going to be able to do that. So I put the picture here. And when I put the picture, I click on magic select. Um, and I just like crop part of the video. I just want to remove 
like I want to make the, the picture look really good. So right now it has actually cropped the video, but it has cropped the picture, but it actually took away some major part that I would like to be in the video. So I'm going to add it back. Um, it's not going to be too clean, but as I say, you can just use a background um, remover and software, something of that, that sort. So I click on done. Then once I click on done, it has the picture. So I'm just going to copy the picture right here. I right click and I copy, and that's it. Please, I come over to this place to paste it. Yeah, and the picture has actually pasted. So I try to reduce it to make sure that it actually fits into um, the middle of the book so that it's going to look um, good. You understand? So it's going to look good. So I know you must have been seeing like some white part in um, the art. That's because like I did not really edit it like very well. So if you want to do your, make sure you edit it very well. and all these colors are not showing too much. You understand? Like, isn't this um, a very simple yet compelling and captivating book cover? So whenever you're creating your book cover, whenever you're creating your book cover, please ensure that it is captivating and um, it is compelling. So this is actually the end of this video. We are done. We are done with creating our book cover. So you just come here and um, click on share. Then you come and click on download. Once you click on download, um, then you can download your book cover, like already. So let me tell you something. There's some things you can benefit on Canva. Like if you upgrade from Canva, like you normally when you register to Canva, you have an option to just use Canva for free, or you have the option to upgrade to Canva Pro. So all these things you're seeing, they are all Canva Pro. You can not use them except you've actually upgraded to Canva Pro. So if you do want to make good use of Canva and utilize all the benefits of Canva, it is advisable for you to actually upgrade to Canva Pro. But if you don't have the money to spend right now, maybe you've not made much sale, then fine, you can actually use the free version of Canva just as we've done here and create something really captivating, something nice. Look at all these designs. They're so, so super, super good. You can actually remodel any one of them to actually suit what you're trying to do. With this, we've come to the end of today's video. I'm actually glad that you stayed and watched till this point. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as I'm going to be dropping all other interesting things that you need to know about Amazon KDP and how to increase sales on Amazon KDP. This will be all. Bye for now.